Welcome back to our Origami Basilisk version two, my Bodo Hag tutorial. We have, in part five, we finished the scales, well, the upper half, and then also the leg scales. Today, we are going to work on shaping. For the shaping, I have this wire, looks like this. It's very good for shaping origami models. And I used it for the legs, the wings, the neck, and the tail of this origami basilisk. We also need some glue. I'm using this jot glue. And something to cut the wires with. You can just bend it, but I'm gonna use scissors. So we left off in part five with just finished making, we finished the transition unit, so was part four. Part five, we finished all of these scales. I was able to spend a lot more time on the bottom scales so they look a little better than the top scales. The back is just, the back is a lot better than the top. The back is not very good. It was a lot better for my official fold. But. So now we are going to, well first we have to make this line right here by folding this behind. And to find out where that is, if you haven't figured this out already, it's at this point. So, mountain fold it behind right here. Right here where this comes over, pull that triangle in half, continue it across until you get to this point and fold it behind just like that. Now you can crease it. And now we're going to make the head neck connection. So what, how I do the head neck connection is I like to first make a reverse fold right here, like that. And then fold this behind. Just like that. And now for the top, we're going to mountain fold this one. But press in here and pull this out. Just like that. Now turn it over and the guidelines are this fold should look like that. And you just go through all of these squares. Just like this. And it should look like that when you're done. And now fold this all in half. Turn it over and fold this edge down. Now the last few folds we have to make are just these reverse folds on this corner. So reverse fold these first two toes and then this large, larger toe. this that will provide for a fourth this toe to be back here so now it is fully collapsed and this is well almost the base of the model we still have a few folds to make through all the layers so what we're gonna do is this part is sort of confusing 
we're going to hold all these layers together and we're going to take this edge and press this up just like that now we're going to make a mountain fold on this line so just do this but fold all of these layers behind and this is how i did it for my model i'm not sure if this is correct or not Now you can just press this in. So I just crease the whole thing. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is this arm, the well, leg, comes, you have to fold this down, and this is a mountain fold. So what happens is this is a valley fold right here, which opens that up and then a valley fold right here. So when we fold this behind, this leg should come down. And then right here, so it should look like that. Then right here, we have this opening right like that. This goes right in between there. It's very thick, so it might take a while where you can jiggle it into place, but here we go. Now push this all together. And now you can see you should have something like this. Now we're going to take this and fold it behind. So what we're gonna do for this arm right, well, wing right here, is if you look at the crease pattern, you'll see that we fold it back and fold it diagonally up. So fold it back like this and then fold it up. And then, on the other one, just fold it back and up, just like that. Now we're gonna take this leg and swing it over like this and bring it down on the other side. This is a hard part, getting this fold right here on the middle because there's so many layers. Let's go like this, this. Now fold this around. And you should have this. So you can now see this is the base for the basilisk collapsed from the crease pattern, I think. I'm not exactly sure about the scale, but there's that. Now we are going to start shaping it. Okay, so I found that it is easiest to paper clip the model in, well not, no, um, close pin the model in place. So I'm gonna put one right here, then bring the feet around, what happens when you try to stretch the feet too much is that this happens. So just make sure you hold all the layers together.
this here and then get the ones. Then you can get the tail. So there you can get a good sense of the base of the model. And now we're going to make the dorsal spines. I confirmed these are in a different, these scales are in a different direction than most people do them. I just found this way a lot easier and a lot more fun. So if you want to do them in the correct direction, then look at the pictures on Flickr and you should find the correct direction. So here, let me just get this started. For the dorsal spines, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this paper and what I like to do is open it up like this and then fold this edge down and just swivel it down just like that. Should look something like this. And when you wrap it around, it looks like that. That's how I do it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. And you're going to sink it. Sink this part. Just take that, press this crease, press that in, and it should look like that. I'm gonna undo this part, and just right here, and just pull this up. It won't lie flat at the end, but it's a lot easier to get in the middle. So then just continue that all the way down. Pull this out. And just continue this all the way down. So this is the last dorsal spine. 
Here we go. Now I'm going to make the tail. There's really no official way to make the tail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this edge and fold it to here. Now make that a reverse fold. And I'll do the tail details a little later. So now I'm going to take this edge and wrap it back up. Like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this glue and open it up and I'm not going to glue all these layers in here, I want the tail to have some texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and glue right in there. Now take this and fold it over. Now I'm going to take some of this wire. I'm going to unwrap it, get a good length of tail, and then I'm going to double it. I'm actually going to bend it off. like this then just place it inside here like that now take your glue and put it along here Make sure you get right here. And I'm gonna glue it well. Now I'm going to take this, press it right here well, and I'm going to scoot it into the position that I want it. Put a paper clip right here. I'm not put a clothespin. Now just press this all on. And you can take a wide clip right here. Now we have to finish the tip and turn it over. This isn't lining up perfectly. I'm gonna get some more glue. And then this isn't lining up perfectly, so I'm gonna tuck this part inside. That should look a little bit better. Now what I'm gonna do is for the tail, I'm actually going to take this and mirror it with the other side. So just go here and I'm just gonna fold this behind to mirror it just like that.
Now just open this up. Put some glue in there. Here. And we should have this. Now clip that you can clip the tail right here. I'm not gonna bend it until the end. This is glued enough. We can screw it over a little bit so that we can work on the legs. The first thing I like to do for the legs is to get this part secured so that it doesn't slide as much. So I'm just gonna glue in between these layers. But now, we're gonna take a length of wire. I'm gonna double it up. And stick it in here as you close this up. Make sure to get it in here where it's folded over. I'm going to scoot this up a little bit. And distribute that evenly. Go. And we should have this. I'm going to put the wire in now. Got to bend the top. Now I'm going to clip this. 
hold this. Get this centered over the middle. Mm. Sort of. <laughs> it's really hard to get where all the thick layers. There we go. And the feet should be ready to shape. And we'll shape those in a minute, but. Then what I, first what I want to do is get the wings. And then these little knobs right here. You can just fold these inside and tuck them inside this later layer. For right now, I'm just gonna reverse fold them. Well, just cause I tucked them inside on the other one. I really liked how it looked. It's not gonna take the time to do that right now. So pause the video. It looks very good if they're tucked in. Yeah, this isn't popping up as much, but to save time, I'm going to reverse it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get this wing to look like this wing. So it is not that difficult. It's exactly, almost exactly, like what we do with um, Satoshi Kamiya's Ancient Dragon Legs. So we're going to pull this all the way out. like this. Well, I'm just gonna do it one way at a time. So, what I'm going to do is just press With this one on the inside, this starts as a valley fold. So we're gonna take, we gotta start on this. Okay. Right here, we're just gonna take this, this little flap right here, and we're gonna press it in. that so for the wing we're going to open up here and just grab these two well yeah two little diagonal things right there and just pull out this top part now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this part out to match the back. So we're gonna do that by just pressing this out. Should look like this. And then this will form Two little folds that start to make this a mountain fold and it should line up on the back
and press this in. To make, here, let me show you a little better. These two little holes, right in there. On the back, just spread it out. This. And right here, we're just pressing this all out. Just press this, press, press, press. until we reach here. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to make, get a valley fold. If you see in here, you can see this line, we're gonna make a valley fold here and here. Then just press this out. We'll press this all the way in, actually. In and in until you get to the very base. So right in there, closest close as you can to where it starts. Should be very a very short line until you get in to the valley fold. So, and just do what we did with the ancient dragon legs. If you don't know where to stop, I will show you when I'm done. easiest to just get the top done first. So once you have the top, it should look like this, and it should match this one. And then just continue pressing this. I'm making those creases in there. Just 
leg is starting to come on. Put the clothes pin back on. just very time consuming. Just continue pressing this part closer and closer into the middle. And close. Okay, so the wing really isn't working. I don't know how I did it exactly on this one, but just follow Try pushing it in. I don't exactly know what happened. But what you do when you're done with the wing, or what I did, is just take this right here, shift it over here, shift it over, continue shifting. like this and then even shift the last one then right here you can make a little pleat like that to hold it all in place and then just carve this like to carve that in and carve this out like that Now just hold this behind like that. I like to go all the way to this point. It gives it a really nice look. Like that. And then once you have it fully pleated and everything, do it on do that on this side. I don't know what happened, but now for the head. For the head, what I did was I took the bottom layer and the top layer, and I put a layer in the middle and went like this. I pressed. I took these sides and just sort of press this in here till about this point reach that line. And then just fold this over. Then I made a reverse fold, just like that. All the way down like this. And then I open this up with this layer down. And looks like this. Turn it over and do the same thing. That's what I did. Then I just took this and folded it down. And same on this side. Just took this edge and folded it down, and that is how I got my jaw, like that. Now I'm going to take this head, leave one unit right here. What I did was I just pleated this whole thing up, like this. I took the first one, this is easy. Take the first one, and reverse fold it just like that so it's barely tucking behind like that 
then have all these other ones come after it. Like this. And you can just pull them out. Get them pointy. And then for the eye, just take this layer and lift it a little, like that. And same on this side. And that's what I did for the head. Now for the legs, just clip this here. What I did was I narrowed it in half. Like this. Took this. I think I narrowed it in half again, yes. Very thin. Then I took this larger one, larger flap, put it behind right here. Then I took these four, pulled them up like this, and spread them into three. Now work them down to a point, all of these. You can sort of press this in if you don't want it that long. Like that. Now just take this and valley fold these up. Now fold all this around that. And there is a foot. Just neaten it up a little bit. And do that on the other one. So, fold all this in half. This here. Fold these up. up you should have this and then the rugs the, this was not ready so the wires sort of coming out and then what you can do is you can put some wire in the neck or just glue it together I put wire in this one the neck curved like that. Then what I did, I just took a piece of wire and I put it right in here to curve the wing like that. And yes, that is the basilisk. You can take the tail, now it should be dry, and just give it a nice little curve. And there you go, that is the basilisk. What I like to do is, with these legs, if this had the wire here, take this out and then have this come in here, like this. That's what I did for this one. Gives it a nice look. And what you can also do is you can build it a little stand like this, adjust it to the height. And just have it sit like that. Looks good, whatever you do. 
so there you go. That is how I fold the basilisk by Bodo Hag. Just some other basic shaping and figuring out this wing. And you should have this. For this wing, if you look in here, I did do the same thing that I showed you here. You just have to press it in really hard and I don't remember exactly how I did that. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial, which I have several tutorials in mind. Maybe the bison by Shuki Kato, we'll have to see. But thank you so much for watching and see you maybe in that tutorial. <laughs>